today's objective is solving equations with like terms and parentheses. So you have been using the distributive property and you have combined like terms. So now you're going to do both to solve more complex equations. But they're actually more fun. All right, here's our first equation. 3 times the quantity of 3x minus 4 minus 7 equals 8. When you look at your equation and see parentheses, you know the first thing you need to do is distribute. And when you're distributing, you're multiplying the number on the outside of the parentheses with every term inside the parentheses. So this gives us 9x minus 12 minus 7 equals 8. Now, if you have more than two terms on one side of your equal sign, you need to combine like terms. So I see that I can combine negative 12 and negative 8, same sign, so I'm going to sum. So I get, now my equation is 9x minus 19 equals 8. Now that I only have the two terms on this side of the equation, I'm going to do the inverse of addition or subtraction depending on what my problem has. In this case, it's subtraction, so the inverse is addition. Add 19 to both sides of the equation, and now I have 9 times x equals 27. So now I need to do the inverse of multiplication or division. And this is the only step you can skip showing me, okay? You must show me the adding or subtracting or your brain's going to mess you up and it'll make a mistake. But if you look at this and say 9 times what is 27x equals 3, you do not have to show me this step, okay? But divide both sides by 9 and x equals 3. Now, you, to check it, you need to check in the original equation. You substitute the value of your solution, x equals 3, for the x in your original equation. So 3 times the quantity of 3 times 3 minus 4 minus 7 equals 8. You must show me that step. The original, that's what the stars are, the steps you must show me. Um, the original equation with the solution substituted in. This gives us 3 times the quantity of 9 minus 4 minus 7 equals 8. You may do this in your head if you would like. This gives us 3 times 5 minus 7 minus 8. So if you just have this line and did, okay, 9 minus 4 is 5, you have to write that down. Okay, so you have to show me that step also. 3 times 5 is 15. 15 minus 7 is 8. You may do that line in your head, but you need to show me the 8 minus 8. 8 equals 8. I'm sorry. So these three steps, that's the minimum that you can show me for your check. Okay? All right. Three more problems. Here's another problem. Negative 2 times the quantity of negative 5x plus 1 plus 12 equals negative 10. I'm going to distribute to get rid of the parentheses. Um, because if I could, if we we're following order of operations, then the, what we wouldn't know would be over here. And I would know what this x was, so I could do my order of operations and do the parentheses first. But when I'm solving for a part of the problem, I can't, so I have to do the distributive property. Okay, so negative 2 times negative 5 is positive 10x. Negative 2 times positive 1 is negative 2, plus 12 equals negative 10. Where kids make mistakes is they, they ignore the negative on the outside coefficient. Don't do that, all right, or you'll get it all wrong. All right, I can combine my like terms because I have more than two terms on this side of the equal sign. Negative 2 plus 12 is 10. So now my equation is 10x plus 10 equals negative 10. Do the inverse of addition. Subtract 10 from both sides. So now I have 10x equals negative 20. Okay. See, if you were just looking at this and doing this in your head, you would see positive 10, negative 10, oh, 0. All right? And that would be wrong because you're not doing the inverse. So you must show me this inverse step. All right? Or you're just going to make a bunch of mistakes. Um, now I have 10 times x equals negative 20. Once again, this is the only step in this equation that you may do in your head. And divide by 10, x equals negative 2. Now if I substitute in negative 2 for the x in my original equation, this is what I have. Negative 2 times the quantity of negative 5 times negative 2 plus 1 plus 12 equals negative 10. So negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10 plus 1 is 11 plus 12. I, you know, carry down the negative 2 and the plus 12. Negative 2 times 11, negative 22 plus 12 equals negative 10. Negative 10 equals negative 10. And I like to put a little happy face down there because for all that work, at least I got it right. All right, let's do problem three. Negative 16 
minus the quantity of 6x minus 4 equals 6. Now, when you do not have a coefficient that's showing in front of your parentheses, you know you may rewrite it. So it says negative 16 minus 1 times the quantity of 6x minus 4 equals 6. Okay? If you'd like to add the negative 1 to distribute, you may. But you can also think, I need to subtract or I need to do the opposite of what's inside my parentheses. So I'm going to carry down the negative 16, but what's the opposite of 6x? Negative 6x. What's the opposite of negative 4? Positive 4. Okay? That's another way to do this parentheses when you just subtract the parentheses. So that equals 6. Once again, combine like terms. Negative 16, positive 4 is negative 12 minus 6x equals 6. Now notice this time I don't have my x term first. I have my constant term first. That's okay. So I'm still going to do the inverse. What's the inverse of subtract 12? Add 12. So I add 12 to both sides. Negative 6x equals 18. x equals negative 3. You may show me or not show me this one division step. Divide by negative. But remember, if you have a negative here, don't make a mistake. That's why I showed this. If you have a negative here, don't tell me 6 times 3 because this is going to be negative 3. Okay? Substitute this negative 3 in for this x. Negative 16 minus the quantity 6 times negative 3 minus 4 equals 6. So I carried down my negative 16, and then I said 6 times negative 3 is negative 18, minus 4 is negative 22. Negative 16 minus a negative is the same as negative 16 plus 22 equals 6. I need to see you change that, okay? And then negative 16 plus 22 is 6. Yay, they equal. All right, last problem. 4 times the quantity of 2x minus 1 minus 6 times the quantity of 3 minus x equals negative 8. Do the distributive property, okay? 8x minus 4 minus 18 plus 6x equals negative 8. We have negatives times positives and positives times positives and negatives times negatives. We have all different things in here. Combine like terms. This time, I could combine my 8x with my 6x and get 14x, and I could combine negative 4 with negative 18 and get negative 22. So this time I had two different sets of terms that I could combine. But I still, I cannot move anything from one side of the equal sign to the other till I've gotten it down till just two terms or less on this side. All right, so now I have 14x minus 22. The inverse of subtraction is addition. So I add 22 to both sides of my equation. I get 14x equals 14 because negative 8 plus 22 is 14. So divide by 14, divide by 14, x equals 1. And to check, plug it back in. Here I have to plug the x in for this, I mean the 1 in for this x and for this x, okay? So 4 times the quantity of 2 times 1 minus 1 minus 6 times the quantity of 3 minus 1 equals negative 8. So I carried down my 4, and then I said 2 times 1 is 2, subtract 1 is 1. I carried down my negative 6, and I said 3 times 1 is 2, equals negative 8. 4 minus 12 equals negative 8, negative 8 equals negative 8. And that's it.